Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys enjoy this look with the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. I already have my eyes primed, so I'm going to go into... I'm going to take Burnt Orange from the palette and I'm going to dip my E40 by Sigma, tap off the excess, and kind of just begin working this as my transition shade. And I'm just doing circular motions. I'm not really being that precise with this color because this color is just our transition. So now that we have our transition color down, I'm going to go into, let's see, I'm going to go into a little bit of a deeper orange and I'm going to go into Realgar, Realgar. So I'm going to go into Realgar, tap off the excess and I'm going to start working this right here, a little lower than I did burnt orange. And these colors are so pigmented. And as you can see, I'm just kind of circular motions on my eye, blending those two colors together. I don't know why I'm talking like this, but yeah. Blending those two colors together. Like so. Okay, now I'm also gonna put some of this right here in my inner corner. And I'm going to dip into mm, I'm gonna dip into love letter I really want to use love letter I think it's a very unique color with my 217 and I'm gonna do the same thing I did but just a little bit lower I'm gonna blend that in to those orangey shades. I really want this color to stand out, so I'm just kind of packing this on as I go to increase the intensity to my preference. And then I'm gonna go back into my E40 and I'm just gonna blend that all out. You also want to take a little bit of this and put it in the inner corner as well. Right below that orangey shade. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush. Let's see which one. Smaller brush. This one's by Urban Decay. I really like this one just for like work in the crease. I'm going to take Cypress Umber. I'm just going to dip that in there. Tap off the excess. 
and place it right in between those two shades. And this is just gonna this is just gonna make that look a little bit more smoky and add depth. You don't want to put too much of this because you don't want to lose that initial love letter color. So we're just, you know, doing a little bit at a time. And I'm just going to pop a tiny bit in the, in the inner corner. A tiny bit. Nothing too crazy. Alright, so then I'm going to take that brush that I used for love letter and I'm gonna go back into love letter I felt like I lost a little bit of that color and I'm just gonna pack that on right over that brown and this is what's gonna make that look nice and blended and pop I actually want to go in and put more of that burnt orange in my crease to blend this all out so a little bit of burnt orange and we're just gonna blend this all out just like that into primavera primavera using that little brush that it came with and i am going to pack this on in the center wherever we had that blank space we're just going to pack this in the center I'm going to take my 217 and just mesh these colors together lightly because you don't want to blend them out too much. Like that. I'll take a little bit more of Ryogar and really amp up that crease. going to take a little bit of tempura yes and I'm gonna just highlight my brow bone with this this and kind of blend that all out And if you took up your eyeshadow a little too high, you can always just blend it out with tempura and that will kind of bring the look back to normal. So I wanted to try this foundation for a really long time. This is the Marc Jacobs Remarkable, Remarkable foundation. I think that's such a cute name. So this is what it looks like if I can get it out of here. This is what it looks like, and I'm in the shade 33 Beige. So you pop off the cap like this, comes in this cute little stick applicator, and I'm just going to just put this all over my face. And it says you can just use four dots and you'll be fine, but we all know I like full coverage. So hopefully that's not too much hopefully that's not too much I'm going to be using my Sedona lace kabuki brush for this this is the 480 so let's just pray let us all pray It has really good coverage and it feels very lightweight on the skin, it doesn't feel like anything. It doesn't feel wet at all, which is weird. Wow. Alright. This foundation is pretty good. It's really good actually. That's the foundation on its own. Pretty full coverage. So I'm gonna take my Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer and I'm in the shade 
warm light and I'm just going to do my regular all concealer routine. So I didn't do any color correction today because I feel like this foundation was so pigmented that it did the color correction for me. But so my concealer is gliding on nicely. So I have no complaints in that area. Wow, I'm like really digging this foundation. I'm going to take Love Letter on my flat end brush and I'm going to put this on my lower lash line. It's very hard for me not to do the little feline shape because I've always done it for years. And I'm going to put a little... I'm going to go back in and I'm going to put a little bit of... Cypress Umber. It's a beautiful brown color. I really like it. Just put that closer to my closer to my lashes. Closer to the outer corner. I feel like if I put wing liner, it'll kind of like mess up the look not mess it up but it'll kind of make it to where you can't really see the colors that well because i don't have that much of lid space i'm gonna go into this palette only for the black because i do love black in my looks generally just to darken up the lash line so i'm literally just going across my lashes all right so you see how that kind of brought a little bit more definition to that lash line. Just gonna dip this in. I'm just gonna go in with this brush. Baby hair's always getting in the way. Oh, yes, Nars. Yes, I love it. Cute. Girl, listen. You haven't tried Laguna. You need to stop what you're doing. Go to Sephora and get you some Laguna because this is serious. The contour is real, people. I feel like I just lost five pounds. And I really like this brush for contouring your like cheekbones. I don't know how I feel about it contouring everything else. So I feel like it might just not do much. So I'm gonna go so my normal brush that I use for my bronzer and it's this one and I just like it because it's fluffy and this brush is by crown I got it off a of hot look a really long time ago but I've been picking up I've been picking it up lately but do you see that do you do you see that I use this for the news I'm digging it, Nars. I'm digging it. All right, so I also wanted to try this out. These are the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. Um, yeah, I don't have much to say about this. I tried it on my hand and I was like, God damn, God damn. It's beautiful. This is in the color Sunlight. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some on the back of my hand, like literally that much. And I might just kind of put this on like this with my hand. Oh my God. Sweet baby Jesus. That is serious. You can see how intense this is. Just gives you a really pretty glow. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take me Fiba. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my makeup with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. watching i hope you guys enjoyed the video and subscribe for more videos bye